Let's dive into creating mesmerizing poser art inspired by the unique dreamy style of the artist Aiforia. Today you will learn how to import basic posers in your 3D program and set up dynamic expressive poses that draw the viewer's eyes. We also explore today really cool techniques to create stylized gradient rich materials with some simple tricks that give your artwork an abstract dreamlike quality. We also master the art of atmospheric lightning to pop up your scene and to capture the essence of surreal art. Let's go! The 3D, the 3D Objects, objects. 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 Find the code in the video and get project files. Be quick, Art Invaders. The files are only freely available for 24 hours after the video release. You can download the finished poser on my Patreon account. If you are interested in this 3D, here's the installation and export part of a poser. Alright, let's start with the tutorial. For this tutorial, we need the 100% free program Des3D. Here you can create impressive poser animations with just a few clicks. You only have to register on the website and then you can download the program files. When the download is ready, you will also get the install manager. Under ready to install, you will find all the important things you need to install. I have already done it, so here's nothing shown. In the next step, you can search on your computer Desk Studio and open the program. In this program, we can now create our first poser. First, go here under the Install tag, then to Figure, and here will show Genesis 8. Double click on the image and then the poser will install. I already did it, so it's not visible here anymore. I will suggest you to work only with the Genesis 8 version because that does not cause any problems. In the next step, we go to the Smart Content tag, then under Figure, and now we can select Genesis 8. Go again under Figure and choose between a male and female poser. Double click on the poser and that's 3D created for you. All right, now we export the poser into Cinema 4D. And for this, we need the bridge. You find it on the website, go desk to Cinema 4D. Press now here on the image. And now you can click here to download the file. Now press here on the link. And in the next step, we have to download and install the file. When you press this button here, open again the install manager. It will appear here in this window or in this window. It depends. And later on, you can install it and it will shown here. We can go back to this 3D, go under File, Send to and select Desk to Cinema 4D. We also want to export the bones and face expressions. To do this, we have to press this button here. Select now Pose Controls, select All and press the button Add for Export. Accept it and accept it again. The next step, we have to create a new file. And when the scene is empty, we can go again back to File, Send to Desk to Cinema 4D. And here you find all the help you need. And go under Install Plugin, select Desk to Cinema 4D and copy this link. In the next step, we open Cinema 4D, go under Preferences, Plugins and add a new folder. Insert it here, select Desk to Cinema 4D and start Cinema 4D. Again, now you can find the plugin here on the top. Go now to Desk to Cinema 4D and press Genesis 8 character and say no. Perfect. And now we have our poser with bones and face expressions here in our program. First, I will show you how you can easily pin objects to the poser. I'm using a tribal for the tutorial, but you can also pin hats, necklaces, chains and other things you create by your own. But if you want to use also my tribal, you can find it on my Patreon for free. Drag and drop the tribal inside of Cinema 4D. A new window will open. Now you can copy and paste it and open the other window again and insert it. Now you have to choose a point of the poser where you want to attach the 3D object. For example, we put it here to the top. And as you can see, here's one bone that we can use in the center of the head. And in the next step, select a bone. Now you can also open here the bones list. 
and this bone that we have selected, the name is center brow. Now you can take the tribal and put it under center brow. When you now select other points, like for example the neck, it's pinned on the object. Perfect. In the next step, we create our start pose. You can change the bones however you want with the rotation tool to bring the poser in the pose that you need. It's really simple, guys. And this is my start pose. The best way to create start poses is to search on Google an image of a person to make the pro process more easier and to get a faster, good result if you don't have experiences with this. But don't change any face expressions now. I will show you in the animation part a really cool trick how you can easily transform it. All right. This is my start pose and in the next step we insert the camera. I choose 1080 by 1350 pixels. You can find the camera here. If you ha have your right position, go also under object and use the focal length to get a special view on the poser. Here we choose a value of 50. And we also insert here a plane as the background. I also did it already. And to get the really smooth edges and a really cool poser, we also use a subdivision surface. Bring it here to this position and put this object underneath. Perfect. And that's it for the 3D object part. Do you want the whole project file? You can have it. <gasps> With over 70 other files that we have already created together, guys. You can find them on my Patreon. Link is in the caption. The materials. Now you can download all HDRI maps and textures for the material part. Go, go, go. Download it. And let's move on with the tutorial. All right, now we came to the cool part, the material part. And first we have to open our render view, put it here to the side and press play. All right, and now we start with the lightning. And for this we need a dome light. You can find it here. Go now on the object, press add graph and press now the folder icon. Here you can insert now the HDRI map that you find for free on my Patreon. This is this image here. And under intensity multiplier, you can change the strength. We use 1.5. And under rotation, you can change also the lightning. I already did it before, so I know that I want to use minus 201. All right, so now we will create the first materials. Press the icon here to open the material manager. And we start with the background material. So double click in the window, drag and drop it on the plane and open the material. Here we use a value of 0.9 for roughness because we don't want it glossy in the background. And now double click in the material window and search for RAM and connect it with color. Now we can change here the gradient like in our example. And we need a third color. For this press under the gradient to create a new one. And select first black. Go under the hashtag and you can also use the same color code as I use. In the middle we need a dark blue. This is my color code. And for white we need a dark red. This is my color code. And as you can see the gradient is in the wrong way. Press the invert button to invert the gradient. To bring the background to shine we also connect it here with the material tag. And now we have to go under emission and choose color. Select now the material, go back to emission and select a value of one. Perfect. In the next step, we will create our first skin material. We already exported all materials from Death3D with names. Select first face and we see nothing because the material get wrong exported. For reflection, we need white as color. Transmission weight we need zero because we don't use a glass material in this case. And we also change under emission the weight to zero because we don't want that to shine black. All right. The next step we change metalliness to 0 0.25 and roughness to 0 0.5. Now we also use a ramp and Fresnel to get more Def connect Fresnel with color ramp and ramp with color. Here we also have to invert the material. And now we first need a dark color. I work here in this project with a dark violet. But if you want to work with other colors, exchange the black color with a darker color. And for white, 
which is also the violet, but it is brighter, like this. Alright, now select the darker color and bring it here in the center to get this cool result. And in the next step, we create our skin texture. For this, we work with a bump map, search also for texture. Here we insert later on the image and with this cool result. And in the next step, we create a unique projection of the skin material on the poser, connect it this way, and we also search for noise to get a better result later on. Go now on the texture, press the folder icon, and insert the skin texture that you find also on my Patreon. And as you can see, the effect is way too strong. Go on the bump map, and on the height, we choose a value of 0.1. And the texture is way too big. To make it smaller, we have to increase the scale value to 5 in both axes. Perfect. All right, the next step, copy the whole material and select torso, delete the old material here, paste it inside and connect it with the output. Repeat it also for lips or ears or arms and also select fingernails. Delete it here, paste it inside, and delete the bump part, and go under the material tag, and increase metalness to 1 to get a glossy effect on the fingernails. And we also change roughness value to 0.1. Perfect. The next step, we delete the tribal material, create a new one, and drag and drop it on the object. Open the material, delete also here the old material, and connect it with the output. And we also delete here the bump part. All right. In the next step, we will create the glowing ice material. That's really simple. Open first the eye socket, go under the material tag, go under emission. Here we can change the color, go under the hashtag, and this is my color code. And we also change the weight to 5. Copy this material and insert it also for pupils, for eye uh, moustache, and for cornea. And now we have the red eyes. To bring everything to shine, we have to go under camera, lens effects, and first we override the bloom effect. Here, need we, here we need a threshold of 4 and softness 77. Then we go to flare, we also override it. Here we change the threshold to 8. The other values fits. And in the end we go to streak, override it. And here we need for intensity 95, for threshold 5 and for tail 0.6. Perfect. In the end, we create the outline lightning, and for this we need an area light. Here we need an intensity of 30, and we also change here the color. This is my color code. In the next step, you can go here under the coordinates tag and change the values until you get a good result, but you can also use the same values as me. It is much easier maybe for you to get the same result. This are my position values and under rotation we need 188 NP. The last step to get a better result in the end, we go also to the render settings, go under advanced, then redshift and we also use in this project denoise. Alright, I think we can also make the glowing effect much stronger. Go to streak and increase it by 2 in a threshold on Forte 0.8 and under Bloom threshold we can also use a value of 1. Perfect. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting me with a like, comment or even a subscription. Thank you Art Invaders. The animation. The animation. 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 Alright, now we came to the last part, the animation part. And first we increase the animation duration to 250 frames. And to adjust the face expression, you can select this layer here, go to user data. And now you have a lot of sliders to change the whole expression of the poser. And first we increase the value of I relax to 100 to get this result. And you have already expressions like afraid, angry, flirting, and thrown. And for this project, we use thrown. Put the animation slider to around 60. Press the icon here to create a new keyframe. Bring it to uh, somewhere behind. 
press the gender button to get the loop animation later on and in the center we increase the whole throne effect to 50 and insert a new keyframe. Perfect. Now we make the eyes closed and open. Go for it to the eyes tag. You have here eyes closed. Create a new keyframe. Move the slider. Create again a new keyframe and put it here in the center and change the value to 100 and put a new keyframe. Now the poser is blinking and in the next step we animate also the whole body. For this, select a bone of your choice with the rotation tool and in this case you have to create a new keyframe with this button here. Create also in the end again a new keyframe and put it in the center and rotate it. For example, like this. Insert a new keyframe and the whole body is now animated. Repeat it for all parts of the poser where you want to animate it to get your unique style of animation. And in the end I will also show you how you get the glowing effect animation of the tribal. Select it, open the material, go here in this window and go under emission. Here we also change the red color of the eyes. So here's again the color code. And bring the animation slider to the position that you like. Press now here this keyframe button. Go to the, to the other position. Set a new keyframe. And in the center we increase it by 5. And now it's close. Okay, maybe 5 is a little bit too strong. We select a value of 3. When you're happy, press the keyframe icon. And now everything is animated. So I think you now understand the whole process of animating the poser and that's it for the animation part. Three reasons why you should follow me on my social media channels. One. There you can get exclusive shoutouts if you tag me at Art Invader. Two. There you can vote for upcoming projects. Three. Exclusive quick tips to get a pro in 3D. Thank you for your support guys. And that's it. Well done Art Invaders. If you like the video, please leave a like, follow or comment and we see us in the next week.